coda equina, central disc herniation. Disc herniation usually occurs posterolaterally, but it may also be central. Anatomy. Here you can see the anatomy showing the bony vertebra and the disc. The disc is composed of two parts, inside nucleus pulposus and outside called annulus fibrosus. You can see the nerve root and you can see the coda equina, a lot of nerve roots. Coda equina is multiple nerve roots within the lower end of the spinal canal. You can see here the spinal cord is up, followed by the conus medullaris at the lower end of the spinal cord. The coda equina are multiple nerve roots beginning at the level of L1. The most common disc herniation is posterolateral disc herniation. There is a nerve root injury or irritation. Changes sensory and motor reflexes may be affected. It usually affects the foot and the ankle and usually treated conservatively initially. This posterolateral disc herniation usually causes a unilateral leg pain and weakness. The straight leg raising test will be positive. Central disc herniation will cause coda equina syndrome. There will be compression of the lumbosacral nerve roots. The patient will have back pain more than leg pain. The bladder and bowel may be affected. It is a surgical emergency. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.